welcome sports fans to the Midweek Halo Wrap-Up, where we bring you the best Halo action, the best deaths, the best kills. Welcome sports fans to the Iron Chief Halo Wrap-Up, where we bring you the best Halo action, the best deaths, the best kills. excited Perkins I'm excited to be here welcome here to season three of the Iron Chief we're back we are back Chuck and it more excited than ever 
and uh, it's an all new series. We've got all new segments to the show. We're also going to bring it shorter and sharper. We've listened to the audience. We're going to bring them what they want to see. Right from the outset, this incredible world that I see before my eyes, and what incredible skill from these Dartons of the game. They're getting the hang of things. <laughs> Slowly but surely, I can tell you this is going to be the best series ever. You know, so we're back. It's, it's a new game. We've got new weapons. We've got power-ups. We've got armor abilities. We've got new vehicles. It's exciting. It is exciting. And, of course, we would love to see all that excitement straight away in the newest of the new maps, Chuck World. We've got to ease our way in like an old man into a hot bath. <laughs> Chuck World. Um, a map that I feel is going to become the crux of our gameplay in the future. But we're going to come back to this later. First of all, I want to go back to Zealot, which is where we had the intro, and talk about our match of the week. Alright, it's our match of the week now. It's Team Randos, 2 on 2, Perkins and Countum versus Chuck Buster and Benchos on Zealot. It's a fantastic map here, Chuck. It's very small, very fast as well, as you can see by the, the pans. And you can see that Chuck, obviously the best player in the map, but, but grouped there with Benchos, who really does anchor the team against, uh, <laughs> against Perkins and Timbo, both completely uh, unreliable players. Well, but Perkins does get the first strike there, and then Timbo here helping out his teammate here, backing up with the second kill, giving the red team the early lead. They're looking pretty good so far. Yeah, certainly do look like they're holding their own. And you can see what a great grenade here. Takes off a little bit of Chuck Buster's shield, but the second one, that's what it's all about. Look, he actually deflected the rocket with that explosion. Incredible play there. The rocket flying off to the side there, giving Perkins the kill on Chuck Buster and also the early lead. This is also important. Look how he runs away here. It's actually crucial letting Timbo go in. This is why the red team are so good. One of them backs off, luring the blue, blue team member away, and the second one can come in in a classic pincer movement to get the kill. You can see Timbo here now chasing uh, Benchos, who was going after Perkins there. He did die, but he gets the kill, and that's going to be crucial in this kind of game. Yes, yeah, so a two-on-two -two game makes kills very important, <laughs> as well as three-on-three <laughs> games. But let's not get into semantics. But look there, Chuck Busters couldn't get there in time to save his teammate, and then he's taken out from behind by Timbo. And now we see here, this is Perkins with the fuel rod cannon, a dominating weapon here. And look, it looks like he was being annihilated, but actually look, look at that last shot, up into the air, taking out Bencho. It was an incredible shot. It was a Hail Mary shot that Bench caught in the face. Just a reflex shot right up in the air like that. It's amazing to watch. Okay, Chuck Buster and Perkins here. This is Chuck Buster with the concussion rifle trying to take him out. And then he moves over and he picks up the fuel rod cannon, which again is dominating in this game, and then goes out into space, thinking, is anyone going to follow me? And certainly, the foolish would follow, Carlos. And, and the foolish do. <laughs> and just remember, in space, no one can hear even Timbo scream. <laughs> <laughs> I find that incredibly hard to believe. <laughs> and here we got the best kill of the game. Killing spree. And just an amazing shot there from Chuck and Buster. A no look rocket kill. Now look at that, and it wasn't a fluke either, look at that, it didn't actually get a deflection shot or anything with the explosion, that is a direct hit on Timbo's knee. A great shot there. Is it gonna be enough? Let's have a look here. Watch Benchos here getting hit in the groin. Oh! <laughs> hey look, it doesn't end there either, look at that. Oh! Even when you're dead, that hurts. Oh! That's terrible. Okay. Okay, now watch this fuel rod cannon shot from Chuck Buster. Look at it, bounces back, nearly hits himself in the face there as he's following Perkins out of space. In the end, though, backs it up and takes the lead again. Now, this is pretty tight here with uh, Chuck Buster having a little bit of a run here, just kind of making his way through the red team like a warm knife through butter. And he's switching here now to Benchos with the sniper. Now, look at his technique here. It's shoot, zoom in, zoom out, shoot. It's a, <laughs> it's a great technique. Don't you knock it because it's working a charm. <laughs> Except for this time here where he takes a shot, zooms in, zooms out, doesn't know what's going on, switches weapons. But luckily for him, his teammate comes back in, draws a little bit of fire, so he can come around the side and take out Perkins. Taking out both the team, the red team there. He made fight. his own luck there. The tension is building here in this game so that when Chuck Buster finally takes that timber with his one-on-one, -on -one, he, uh, all over his guts, releases a little bit of that tension. <laughs> now Chuck Post, uh, Perkins here has run out of ammo, we can see that fires that last shot, so he loses a grenade at Benchos, and yes, it is enough to get a long distance grenade kill, and he's still on the run with the lead now, taking out Chuck Buster, this is incredible. He's unkillable, and he's he now he's running around, looking for his next kill, doesn't quite know how to use this weapon, but figures it out quite quickly, and more quickly than Bench figures out how to use his weakness. 
<laughs> and so Perkins reforms here with his teammate, spots a Bencho's there behind the back, and moves in to see Bencho's who has done absolutely nothing. No, no, just gave himself up there like a virgin falling into a volcano. <laughs> <laughs> Until finally Chuck Buster ends his spree there with the Fuel Rod Cannon as we come here to uh, Timbo on Benchos with our uh, Clash of the Titans Wooden Spoon Play of the Week. You can see here both him and Benchos using all of their bullets. But here's where it really heats up. You can see what a perfect aim that Dimbo has right at Bencho's groin. And the grenade actually hits him in the groin and kills Bencho's, but doesn't explode. So therefore it bounces back and hits Timbo in the groin as well and kills him again before there's been any explosion. An amazing kill. A double penile kill. <laughs> okay, Chuck Buster here, they're getting the double, double the killing kill. spree, and Tie the tying the scores once again, 46 apiece. We've got a game on our hands here, people. Indeed we do, Chuck. Taking out Perkins for 47, and then coming up to count him on 48, a double kill. It's the blue team's game here. Yeah, it would certainly look so. So Perkins here with a sword, just missing a rocket that came from behind him. Now, who would be stupid enough to follow their own rocket on someone who's wielding a sword it's, no, no, it's Chuck Buster who goes in there and not only does he let them score, tie the scores, he also gives Perkins a rocket launcher and we are now wrapped up 49 apiece and Perkins has got a rocket at this, the final move of the game with Benchos and the Fuel Rod Cannon. But fortunately, Benchos has a Fuel Rod Cannon, so there's nothing <laughs> to worry about. <laughs> or is there? Uh, it's Perkins. <laughs> Unbelievably. Benchos actually saw him and then looked away. And if we go and look at the replay there, we see that Perkins doesn't even get a very good shot on him. It's just enough to get the deflection kill there with the explosion. I'm excited, Chuck. Particularly since Perkins won a rare occasion on these episodes. <laughs> yeah, a great game in our Match of the Week, Episode 1, Season 3.